back out again, this time in Banag Brachaniog, Reckon Beacons. I'm looking for a really relaxed camp this time after the troubles I had last time. We call this, Lynn and I, because we do it reasonably often, we call this the steps walk. Well, I'll just turn around and show you why. You see down there, there's steps all the way down to the road at the bottom. You can see people going home now. But look at the view, spectacular. I'm just thinking there's a lot, quite a lot of pitches down there maybe, might avail myself of one of those one day. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Well, I'm glad that's out of the way. That's pretty much the only climb of the day. So get up onto the ridge, wander around the coom, see what I can find to pitch. I know there's loads of pitches over there. It's just a matter of picking which one, really. Like I say, I just want a relaxing camp. Beautiful views, as always, from here. A couple of big streams going down. There's a waterfall at the top of one of them. And the clouds are lovely. You can see the sun's getting a bit lower now. Hot over there is where I camped last time, Karn Pika. I quite fancy this lower one actually down over the reservoir. I'll have to try that one day soon. Off down towards the South Wales Valley is down that way. Lovely. So I think uh, my mate Michael, Skater Dalek, should recognise this cairn. This is where we came up on his first ever wild camp. I think, I think still his only ever wild camp. Bit of a trooper though, to be honest. I mean, during the days we were up here, we had a bit of off-pisting, because <laughs> the uh, path was basically a bog. We had wind. We had a lot of rain and he even had great clods of earth falling off the cliff onto his, well I say cliff, it's only fell about 10 foot, <laughs> falling off onto his tent. So the lad done well. And maybe uh, I'll nip up north one day and take him out again. Why not? Are you up for that Mike? Let me know. So that's the cairn that marks where you come across the plateau towards the northern escarpment. We're now on the Brecon Beacons Way, of course. It comes right over that hill there, all the way around to the waterfall, and then out onto this path, well, out to the northern escarpment, and then over Fanny Beg, Cribbin, Penavan, Corn Dee, down to Story Arms on its way west. I've walked a fair number of bits of it so far, but uh, not the beginnings and ends because they're mostly farmland. But I got my sight set on doing the whole thing one day. Very boggy, very wet, as is everywhere at the minute. It's coming up to about half past four, so I've got about an hour before sunset. A bit longer than that before it gets dark, of course. So, uh, yeah, let's get a move on. Never seen this running with water before. It just shows how much rain we've had. It's raining again all last night, I think. So, not a rock pavement, a rock river. Found a pitch right on the edge this time. I came came a bit farther than I usually do. So, but I think she looks good, don't you? There she is. That's not a bad pitch at all, is it? I'm quite happy with that. Quite pleased with that. Look at uh, not a lot down there. 
Yeah, she went up well this time. Right, get me stuff in. Get the kettle on. Unfortunately, the sun got cut off by all this bank of clouds coming over Penavan. So there wasn't really a sunset, but well, you know, there was for some people, not for me. Anyway, I'm going to get in the tent because this wind's really cold. And uh, yeah, get, get sorted, get the kettle on, relax. Settled in the tent now. Uh, got everything laid out the way I want it. And uh, yeah, good. <laughs> I think I've got everything with me. If you didn't see my last video, um, I was on Dartmoor and I just got settled in when I realised I didn't have my car keys. I'd left my car keys somewhere and I had to go back across the moor to look for them and I found them on top of my car roof. But I, um, shall we say, misnavigated <laughs> on the way and I'm still really annoyed with myself. So this camp is, this is about not doing anything wrong, not losing anything, um, just sitting back, chilling, looking at the pretty lights in the valley and uh, relaxing into wild camping without any drama. So I'm going to put a brew on now and then um, kick back for a bit, have maybe, maybe two brews. Uh, just relax. Right, time for dindins. Um, and we have turkey curry. This is one that Lynn made back in Christmas time. I thought we'd eaten it all, but it seems I got one left. And to go with that, I have some, some rice. Um, it's that stuff that comes packed tight into a, a plastic uh, tub and it's a swine to cut up when you're on the hill and I discovered you can just crumble it so I've done that. Um, so I bought myself a saucepan this time and somewhere I've got a pot holder and so turkey curry goes in, rice goes in, a little bit of water and then just boil it up. Job's a good one. So there's me, uh, can you see? Turkey curry. When I had the other one a few camps ago, I did say it was nice and it was really nice, but it was a little bit sort of underspiced. So I stuck a spoonful of curry powder in this one. There's a wind coming. As I say, it'll do this for a bit and then it'll die for ages. All right, minutes and minutes and minutes. Okay, I'm going to eat this. I'll talk to you a bit later. So I've just been on social media for a bit. Watch Chris JB's latest video. Interesting chap, huh? Seems to know a lot about just about anything, every, anything and everything around him, which is very commendable. So anyway, thanks to Chris JB. I know now where Pen <coughs> Don't think you could say it either. I know where Penelope Keith once had a house. So I'll be able to sleep easy tonight knowing that. I watch several other wild campers. Uh, one I watched earlier on, um, before I left home actually, was uh, one of the favoured few who got the um, the new Vern PC, is it? I had Vern 1 tent to test. This super delu, half the price of a solo. Um, Four season tent, it's a Hilleberg killer. I'm only jealous, of course, because no one ever sends me anything to review. 
So there's those like review channels. Um, one thing about this chap, I won't mention him by name, but I do wish he'd learn to speak the names of the Welsh hills properly. And there's one lady who I will mention by name actually, Solo Sarah B. Very new YouTuber. Only been doing it a matter of months, I think, but has already got nearly three times as many subscribers as me. And if you watch her videos, you'll see why. She's very calm. And watching her videos is a, is a calming experience. It's really nice. Anyway, check her out. Solo Sarah B. I was watching. One for the last brew of the day. I've just been, it's about quarter to 11 now. I've just been uh, lying back, uh, watched the film, just sat in the, looking out the door at the, uh, the valley down there, the lights twinkling. The clag coming in and out, and every so often you, there's a bunch of stars appear and then they disappear. <laughs> Every so often there's a thump of the wind on the tent. Mostly it's been pretty, pretty calm actually. You're just you know, little bits of wind rocking the tent, not just, yeah, just rocking it a bit, but occasionally you get this, which is really, I, I find sort of low, whoa, low winds. That's typical. Wait till I put the camera on. See, I'm, you'll be getting like a quarter of an hour of almost no wind at all, and then a few minutes of this, and then it goes quiet again. It's very strange. Somebody will understand how the wind works and tell us, no doubt. But I find like the low whispering winds very soporific. Same as effect, I guess, as having the light rain on the tent. A little bit's really nice, but too much is just too much, isn't it? Yeah, I've just been relaxing. Uh, that's what I wanted from this camp. Just a chill. Just uh, listen to it calm. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to finish my brew, then I'm going to get my head down and uh, I'll see you then in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, it's not a very relaxing morning, is it? <laughs> so, wind came up like this, rained, I don't know, a bit after midnight. Ooh. And Sometime during the night it shifted round a bit as well because the snow blowing on this side as you can, I don't know, can you see this? Look at that. Blowing right in. And just in the last, oh it's quarter to seven, what's the time? 25 to seven. In the last. started raining probably 10 minutes ago so um, yeah interesting so I'm I'm gonna put a brew on but while that's boiling I'm gonna start packing out I did set an early alarm so that I could catch a sunrise if there is one but uh, I've had a look out and it's not great so it's going to be a wet pack up again. Never mind. I had a lovely relaxing evening. Chilled down. Uh, now I've got to pay for it I guess. Anyway, I'll get on with the brew and I'll catch up with you a bit later. Oh, that's not so bad. I think the wind has definitely eased off since the middle of the night.
but it's a very damp, moody morning. Show you the view. That's the way home over there. It looks a bit claggy, but uh, it's not the worst view in the morning. Let's be honest. It's pretty cool. Over there we can see Vivian in a van in the cloud, funny big just about out of it at the moment. Oh it's coming and going. Ah, nice. Anyway, I'll finish my coffee. <laughs> Get out of here. I'll finish my coffee and then uh, start the big pack up. I see a couple of guys pinned out overnight, so I'm not surprised. Nice. Anyway. I'll catch up with you a bit later on. up ready to go leaving no trace as always behind me there so let's get a move on then can't see if I got my hat on straight what I need is a mirror oh, where's this path gone path just disappeared <laughs> Oh dear. Well, I want to go that way, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, just having to rest before I uh, go down those steps I had to come up yesterday. It's a bitter wind. I've only seen one person, one person today, a young lady out foul running. Didn't look to me like she had enough clothes on to stay stay warm even fell running just shorts hmm don't know about that i think my shorts days are well over so yeah as i said just having a rest and looking at the view which isn't that shabby really i don't know if you can see the road down there it uh, comes up over a pass just there if you follow it on down and turn right the road will take you up to the Penavan car park for the Southern Horseshoe coming around here that railway track I think I've said all this before that railway track is the Brecon Beacons Way and then right over in the background is um, yeah Sugarloaf and over there is where I wanted to camp last time I was here Right, I can't put off going down these steps any longer. <laughs> well, that's another adventure over. A couple of hundred yards and another hundred steps down to the car. So I thought I'd just stop here. And thank you very much for watching. Give us a like button if you would. That'd be great. And I hope I'll see you on the next time. Bye for now.